For some weeks now I've been hinting that, as regards new tri-bike launches, this will be the most interesting autumn ever. Two reasons for my hinting just got launched this week, Tri-Rigs Omni and today the Diamond Backhandian. And we're just warming up. There are more to come. Now, about the Andean, when I first saw mechanical drawings I immediately thought of the first servlo, the Brachy, a bike you'll never see on the road. It was Phil White and Gerard Vrooman's original moonshot and of bikes like this designed more than 20 years ago White said, we couldn't sell our aero bikes when we first brought them out, they look too different. If you look at the Andean you can see what White meant by different. The Andean is Diamondback's moonshot. Never has a bike required a rider except as axiomatic features that are non-negotiable. The rider must assume that disc brakes and 1x are the appropriate way a tri-bike should be ridden and 1x is certainly making its case, what with the tri-rig Omni and the Andean both introduced with the front derailleur sitting on a shelf, lonely with only the unused second chain ring for company. Geometrically, the Andean's designers did exactly what the Speed Concepts folks did before that bike's 2011 launch, instead of staking a geometric flag on the ground, Making a statement about fit, they simply graphed the existing geometries in the market and drew a line down the center. They very smartly picked their fights, and they chose not to pick one with geometry, 